Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is an, on a game called Hack EX. This is kind of an older idle game. It's a very basic game. You basically go in, you can search for people, you can try to hack their firewalls and then you can steal money from their bank account, leave spam behind, uh, and spyware to see what people they hack. And there's a whole leaderboard system that I don't remember how to get to but you can actually join a leaderboard and try to be the best of that certain time frame i believe everything's just automated at this point because i think this game's been out for no joke five or six years now but i found a glitch and maybe somebody else found this glitch in the past i'm sure somebody else has found this glitch in the past let me rephrase that it's a very basic glitch it abuses the ad watching system in this game where you can watch an ad or two and actually i'm going to mute my sound because i don't want to give these ads free views but you watch two ads and then you remove a bunch of downloading processes and boom you finish a process that was otherwise going to take four thousand days to complete because that's the nature of these idle games. Is once you're at certain levels, it's just impossible to complete anything. So if you go into, if I go into my store, you'll see I have basically no money in my bank at the moment. But I do have an encryptor that's level three thousand twenty-nine, a password cracker that's level one thousand nine hundred thirty-nine, and a bypasser that's level two thousand and nine. I want to go find a bypasser that's above level two thousand nine, and I want it to finish pretty much instantly. So what you want to do is you want to go to your scans. And what I have figured out in my time of playing this game is there are some people that do not give a damn about their firewalls. They keep their password encryptor up. They keep their uh, bypasser up. And that's it. So you can kind of go through. And what you want to do is just find somebody that's, you know, like this one, the firewall level two. They probably have some high level encryptor and stuff like that because this is all user level based. Anything that you search here, you're kind of grouped with people that are similar player level. So I want to hack this guy. I'm going to bypass it with my level 2008 bypasser. And that's probably going to complete nearly instantly. So yeah, seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, complete. And actually, this is uh, the second one. That's another player that I know this will work with. But what you can do is you open up their account. As you can see, I'm accessing their account. Sometimes there's some pretty dodgy stuff inside these things. I didn't want to show my IP, but oh well. Y'all probably won't be able to get into my account anyway. And what you want to do is you want to try to, you can try to hack their bank. You can go crack. As you can see, they do have a kind of high encryption of 1,231. Not much I can do about that, but I am going to try to crack their bank. But what you can do is you can see their app levels. This person doesn't have very high levels, so it doesn't really work here. Well, they do have a higher bypasser than I do. So let's steal their bypasser. So you want to download it. And then you want to go find um, another item that's going to take longer than that item. So we're going to go back. I want to erase my history here. We're going to go back to that other player I was talking about. This guy. You want to download something that's higher level than the item you're downloading. So that was, oh wow, this bypasser is level 4,347. Jesus Christ. So we want to download something higher level than what I'm already downloading. This antivirus is perfect. So we're going to download this. You want to download... When you're at these higher levels of 3,000, 4,000 something, you want to download, you want to create about 30 processes. You have to sit here and just click and click, click. Because there's a glitch in the game where it doesn't seem to know that you are already downloading a specific process. So it will let you create these processes over and over and over again, even if it's the exact same item you're already downloading. So you want to get about either 20 or 30 
of these pointless processes, as I like to call them, up and running. I was not counting. I don't know how many I've done. Oh, well, that's useful to know. You can just spam it and get multiple. So just get like a touchscreen spammer, an auto clicker, and just have it spam it over and over so you can add more processes at once. Because apparently that works. I'm going to assume that's good. So we're going to go back. As you can see, I have downloaded a ton of them. Um, I might want to do a few more, but that's not going to really matter in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to go back. And we're going to look for that bypasser that I wanted. So as you can see, there's antivirus, antivirus, antivirus. It's probably going to be at the bottom of this list. Bypasser 2681. So you want to watch the ad. I'm not trying to trick you into watching ads, I promise. Watch the ad. It's going to take about 30 seconds, obviously, for the ad. That's the standard timing. You, if you have something like ad block on your device, obviously, you have to disable it or the ads aren't going to work. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to let the ad play out. I'm going to do all this in real time without any sort of video editing because I want to show you guys how quickly you can actually do this. But with about three, two, one... The ad is done, takes you to the Play Store. All right, so that ad is done. And then you do have to wait about 10 or 15 seconds. You can't do it immediately, but you wanna wait about 10 or 15 seconds and then watch one more ad. So we're gonna sit there and let this count down to it says about 35 seconds, uh, because that'll be enough time that I can start another ad. You can do it right away, but for some odd reason, if you do it right away, just back-to-back -back ads within seconds of the previous one uh, finishing, it the glitch doesn't always work. So you want to give it a good couple seconds before you watch the ad again. So we're going to watch another ad. Supposedly it only takes 8% off of the time now. But there is a function on the server for this game where if you remove processes, it will make things um, take less time because there's less processes taking up less virtual um, demand on whatever system you're using. So we're gonna wait for this ad to finish. I'm terrible at Sudokus. Go back. As you can see, it finished the other ad. And now what you wanna do is you wanna go through and you wanna remove all the processes you don't want. Or the pointless processes, as I like to call them. Oh, I missed one. Come on, select, you silly goose. Oh my gosh. Antivirus. I have not yet seen how this works with other stuff. I know this works with uploading spam as well. But there we go. So we're going to leave the bypasser, obviously, because I don't want that to disappear because that's pointless what we're going to do is remove selected processes and what you're going to see is that bypasser level just completed instantly and it says it completed 500,000 days ago so it completed back when the dinosaurs were alive um, and as you can see I do have a bypasser level 2682 and I could actually come in here and if I had the money I would be able to upgrade it so that's all it takes. I'll show you one more time because I can show you guys that it also works with uploading spammers. So we're gonna go in here. Spam basically makes you money. It's like adding a botnet or something. So we can go upload and do spam. I'm gonna try a high level one because most people stop around a level 200 when they do this glitch. I wanna see what happens if I do a level 300 uh, spam. So we're going to upload a level 300 spam, and then we're going to download a whole bunch of stuff again. And actually what I'll do is, while I'm setting this up, I'll just pause this real quick so you don't have to watch the whole thing again. So now I have all the processes. 
of downloading that bypasser again just to take up some time. For some odd reason it's downloading this firewall. We're going to remove that. I must have clicked it by accident. But we want to go to my spam. So we're going to watch the ad on the spam real quick. So I'm going to pause this. I'm just showing you that I'm doing the same process. All right, so now we wait the 20-ish seconds and watch another ad on the spammer. So how are you guys doing today? Do we need therapy time with David? As you can see, I did it with a level 115 spammer already. I also did it with a level 110. Like I said, I want to see what happens if I do this with a level 300 spammer. Because spammers are the biggest source of income in this game. And besides hacking somebody, basically. But, oh, I got a text message. I just noticed. But anyway, we're going to watch the other ad real quick. And then I'll come back. All right, so that second ad is done. Now we're going to remove all the processes of these bypassers that I don't need. Uh, straight removal. And as you can see, we only have the spammer here, so we're going to remove. And the spam is successfully uploaded, and it says it finished 2,642 days ago. So, what is so special about spam? As you can see, I even leveled up. We go to spam. You can see I will make, um, I will have a total earnings of about 92,000 coins per hour with a total earning capacity of 1.7 billion crypto coins. So it's, it's a lot. You can definitely do a lot with these spammers. But uh, as you can see, that's basically how you can cheat this game. It's one of the only cheats I know of for this game, which... They did a good job coding this game, but it's definitely got that one single flaw. But it's been a fun game. I've been playing it on and off for years. You know, hit it up. Give it a download. Give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. It's just a good time waster once in a blue moon. I'm going to try to level up my stuff to the moon and uh, see what I find. Oh, yeah, you can actually just search IP addresses too, but not that easy really. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out.